Welcome back, Grade Nines. You are tuned in for your third lesson in Term 1 for EMS. In our previous lesson, we had a look at our second economic system, which was the market economy. In this lesson, we will look at our third and final economic system. If you are new to Tumamina, please go and have a look at our previous videos and make sure you are up to date with everything we have done this far. As always, we have a lot to cover in this lesson, but I'm sure you're very excited for it. Let's do this. We have been looking at economic systems around the world and how the economic problem affects these systems. Pause this video and discuss with your classmates what these two terms mean. If you are alone at home, you can challenge yourself and recall the information loud and proud. Are you ready? Three, two, one. I'm sure you got these definitions correct, but if you aren't sure, just go back to lesson one where we discussed it in depth. But let's just quickly revise these two terms. An economic system is where a country decides how to distribute its resources and products to all the citizens in the country. We know that it's not that easy and that there are limited resources for all the needs and wants of citizens. What happened now? Oh yes, it's load shedding. This is a typical example of limited resources needed to supply all the needs of the citizens in a country. In the previous lesson, we had a look at market economies. We know that these economies are unplanned economies, where citizens of the country own all the businesses and resources. Examples of these countries are the USA and Japan. Our third and final economy is the mixed economy. This economy is a mixture between the planned economy and the market economy. Here, both government and private businesses own land and resources. Most countries today make use of a mixed economy. In the previous lessons, we had a look at the different countries relating to the various economic systems. At the end of this lesson, I would like you to think of possible countries that relate to a mixed economy. We are familiar with Curo. Curo is a private business owned by shareholders. The Department of Basic Education represents public education and is managed by the government. Do you see grade nines? Both these institutions represent the private and public involvement in a mixed economy. Maybe Kamva of Ikasi Kofu Company was a student at your school. If that is the case, he would be participating in a mixed economy. He would decide which coffee beans or types of coffee he would like to sell, but has a big responsibility to apply all South African government laws in his business, such as the Consumer Protection Act. So, let's have a look at the characteristics of the mixed economy. Remember, the keywords for every characteristic will pop up on the screen. It's your responsibility to summarize them. Firstly, 
Capital is received from banks, shareholders and the government. Secondly, entrepreneurs decide what they would like to produce. And finally, the government passes laws to control certain economic activity. An example of a law that all businesses need to abide to is the Labour Relations Act. Now, let's have a look at the advantages of a mixed economy. Private businesses and government join forces to address the needs of citizens in a country. An example of this is Johnson & Johnson and the governments which combine forces to distribute vaccinations to all citizens during the COVID-19 pandemic. Secondly, government encourages private businesses to make contributions to citizen welfare. And finally, the government encourages the economy to grow so that income is equally spread. I know, Mixed economies sounds like a dream, but they are not always that perfect. Let's have a look at the disadvantages of this economy. Firstly, the economic growth can be limited because the government allocates resources according to citizen welfare. Secondly, there is heavy government involvement in the economy through regulation which makes corruption possible. We know that South Africa definitely faces corruption, but there are various anti-corruption campaigns which strive to solve this problem. Do you remember in lesson one, we try to identify what type of economy South Africa is? Do you think South Africa is considered a mixed economy? I think you know which economy South Africa uses. That's right, a mixed economy. How many of you got it correct? Let's test what you have learned and see if you know it. Complete the sentences by filling in the missing words. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Do you think you managed to get all the answers? Quickly swap your work with your friend and mark each other's work. If you are alone at home, don't worry. I'm sure you'll mark yours too. Grade nines, I know that there is a lot of content that you need to study. Many characteristics, many advantages, and even more disadvantages. But I have a good treasure for you. I've written you a little song so that you can remember all of this content. Economics that play through systems we're taught today. Black economy, state takes command. A sudden production shaping the land. No private ownership, resources in control Limits and decisions, governments roll Resources abound, happiness in the air Scarcity prevails, choices become rare Land market makes the economies align Each with its tail, governments grip or markets free hand Advantages and drawbacks, let's understand Dive into the market, where profits the song Private hands lead, deciding who belong Adaptive and flexible, change is the guide And equalities rise, where solutions hide Wealth divides, the market sway Market mixed economies align Each with its tail, government's grip or market's free hand Advantages and drawbacks, let's understand Mixed economy of land to explore Private and public in this economic floor Entrepreneurs decide within the laws God planned Market mixed economy And there you have it, great nines Well done on completing your third lesson for term one we have wrapped up the economic systems for this term. In the next lesson, we will focus on circular flows. Grade 9s, remember to subscribe to our channel. 
This way you will always be updated with new lessons added. Keep up the good work. Bye!